Hi, welcome to the Great Margarita Hunt. I'm Jenny and this is Jonathan Lopez. He's with us today to tell us about Lopez Mexican Restaurant here on Grand Parkway in Houston and also there's another location that we know very well off of Willcrest. So thank you so much Jonathan for well, joining for us thanks today. I appreciate coming. it. We've been here many times. In fact, we were here not very long ago to have a party with a group of people to launch our YouTube channel and Jonathan was kind enough to allow us to come back so I could ask him some questions. So I've told you before, I love the house margarita. I just, I've loved it for many, Thank many you. years. Tell me, how long has Lopez been open? How long has the restaurant been open? So my parents opened it in 1978, the Woolcrest location. Wow. In 1978, uh, my parents came to the U.S. in the 60s. My dad always worked in restaurants and always had the dream of having his own place. And uh, in 78, it happened, you know, so we've been in we've been in business that long. I was 11 years old, but oh, I've been with the family. That's you know, wonderful. Yeah. What was your first job working at the restaurant? Uh, dishwasher. Dishwa dishwasher. That's, that's where we start all our kids, yeah. isn't it? Dishwasher, yeah. yeah. So um, I remember that one of the earlier locations, and then it moved to where it is on Willcrest now. Right, and right. I remember, we remember the grand opening. We've had lots of family celebrations there. We love yeah, it. Yeah, we were in the strip center till uh, 2000. Yes. And that's when we opened uh, the freestanding restaurant yes. across the street. We were there. Yeah. We were there. We love it. Time flies. And, oh, time flies. So now tell me about that house margarita. How many years have you been serving that? So early 80s, I think it was like 83. Wow. When my dad finally got the liquor license. Yes. So he had to be and wine license yes and then you got the, uh, the mixed beverage license so now we could serve you know liquor wonderful so it's early 80s is when we started with the house margarita because we need the margarita to go with the food and the food is excellent excellent we love this house margarita so what is what do you think is it the machine what, what is it about that margarita I think it's just a combination of you know the tequila yes and just the bright uh, sweet and sour ah. you're not making it too sweet to where yes. like you have one or two and it's just like too sweet so just That's finding that balance and i think the balance. i totally agree i talk about balance all the time don't i like it's it's not just the ingredients but it's how you mix them together so right. can you tell me what kind of tequila you use? Uh, it's yeah. a house. It's, it's a, a house, house secret. House secret. Yeah, it's a house secret. Yeah. It's but, a house secret. Yes. Okay. And you do you make your own sweet and sour mix? No, we buy it. Okay. We buy it. So we, you know, for many years we tried different ones. We finally settled on one uh -huh. that was consistent, a good product. Yes. And we've just been settling on that one ever since. Well, I do yeah. think it's wonderful. You know, we have a scale of one to five margarita glasses that we evaluate all of our margaritas on, and we give the house margarita at Lopez a five as the very best because overall it's just wonderful it's perfect for having dinner and i it always is balanced it's always consistent right and i love that it comes in a pitcher because we always buy a pitcher we get the small pitcher or the big pitcher because we just love it but there's something else you have put green salt on the rim yes yes so i think the green salt came around for saint patrick's day many years ago and we just like how it looked and like, how it tasted. I said, hey, let's just keep it, you know, just do something different. Is there a little different. sugar in it? No, it's no, just, just great salt. It's, it's perfect, salt. though. It yes. also works really well with it. Yes. So what was, oh, I know what I wanted to ask you. So what's your favorite margarita here at Lopez? The habanero. The habanero. Yeah, the habanero. You know, it has a little kick, a little spicy. Yes. So kind of change it up a little bit. Yeah. We love that. And yeah. and you make the syrup here, right? We make the syrup here. Mm. Yeah, so we get the habaneros and we just have our own you know, our, 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 uh, the recipe for the habanero mix. And yes. Yeah, that's what it's it good. Here. Now, what kind of habaneros do you use? Do you know? Are they the orange ones, the red ones? The red ones. The red ones. Because yes. I noticed it's red. But are you using a dye in yeah, there? Yeah, we use like a beet, a like a beet powder. Just perfect. Just a little, because, you know, Mother Nature can sometimes be yes. not consistent. Yes. So we use, you know, like a natural. I love that it's a natural thing. We yes. try really hard to work. We try, or at least we like mentioning when there's a tequila with no additives. We, we like to bring that up, and especially food coloring. I really appreciate that. That's great. What's So what's your next favorite margarita at Lopez? Uh, actually, it's, it's, it's the, uh, the habanero. The habanero. But what I do enjoy at home is uh, we're getting into mezcal, like trying ah. mezcal. So we like at home, we like to kind of experiment yes. with different mezcalas, you know, with the family and sipping. Yes. So that's what we enjoy. So yeah. should we see expect to see mezcal sometime on the menu? Maybe so. Maybe. Yeah. We tried a few years back. We had a, um, a mezcal, but I think it was a little bit too early. Yes. I think we ought to try it again. I, I think, think mezcal you should. is a little becoming more mainstream. It's trending, right? It's trending. It's yes. trending. I think that's a great idea. Yes. 
Thank you so much, Jonathan, for spending time with me today. I love it here, and I really like launching here because Lopez really started it for all of us, for our family, for so many celebrations, but also that margarita just kind of in the middle of it all. As part of our celebration, we always think of Lopez. So Lopez Mexican Restaurant on Grand Parkway in Houston correct. and Willcrest in Houston as well. That's correct. Right? Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. Thank the you. The hunt continues. Well, welcome back. I want to thank so much the Lopez family, Lopez Mexican Restaurant, everyone who served us, and especially Ana Lopez Lorea. Um, she was fabulous helping to connect me with Jonathan Lopez, and I really appreciated getting, talk directly, getting to talk directly to them. Our family has enjoyed Lopez for so many years, like you saw, and we, they were wonderful hosting us for this um, sign in a uh, like and subscribe party that we had with some family and good friends and just did a great job with our group and we saw some interest for some other people that were there and so that's great and we love sharing margaritas with people as you saw and we certainly enjoyed quite a few that night of those frozen margaritas that we were talking about so our thanks again to the family so we're going to go forward with that and we're going to uh, we didn't get their secret 40 year old recipe <laughs> But I should have asked, right? I didn't even really ask. So maybe next time we'll ask about the recipe. But on our continued hunt for the best margarita in the world, we're going to try another recipe today, but just one, what we hope is perfect frozen margarita. So we're saying it's the perfect frozen margarita, maybe. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're trying a couple of different things to see how it comes together and see how it competes with that wonderful Lopez margarita that we enjoy, that house margarita, among others that we like there. We like that habanero one too. Anyway, so let me show this recipe to you and show you what we're going to use. We're going to have a half ounce, one and a half ounces of a Blanco tequila, and I'll show you which one we're gonna to use today. We're using the Insolito, and one ounce of Cointreau, one ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice, and a quarter ounce of fresh orange juice. And we'll talk about that here in a second and a quarter ounce of agave nectar. So over here on the side, I can show you the tequila we're going to use is we've used this before, this Insolito Blanco. We like it. There's no additives. We enjoy using this and the Cointreau, of course, we're all familiar with. And this fresh squeezed lime juice and a little bit of fresh squeezed orange juice. Now we are going to freeze this, uh, make this a frozen margarita because that's the one that I've enjoyed for so many years, the house margarita I've enjoyed for so many years. I'm going to go ahead and be getting my glass ready while we talk. And um, one little adjustment, now they use um, green salt and just a perfect blend of it. It's just right. I should have asked about the recipe for that too. But they use uh, green salt on the rims of their house margaritas and I'll have to make sure that uh, I find, and they use some coloring that is, is a, a natural type of coloring, so I always like that. So anyway, I'm going to put some lime juice. Ooh, this is a very juicy lime here on my, uh, well, actually, I'm going to do that. There we go. And I'm going to grate a little bit of this zest into my salt here. We've done this before. Um, I have a, a longer zester that I use sometimes when I'm putting together a lot of, um, try this side. Yeah, when I do things with baking and everything, I have a really long one that I like to use, but for this, this is probably about, well, it's not cooperating. You know, I use these smooth, these smooth lines and that there, that's probably, that's good enough for my one glass. All right, so we're going to have this uh, just kosher salt with some lime zest in it. That I'm gonna put on the rim of my glass to have it ready. And then we're going to mix it all up in our blender and see what we think. Now, the thing that we're doing different today is I'm using some small pebble ice that we've made up. Now, I, you've, if you've watched some of our other shows, lots of things, we, we're really interested in limes and salt. It becomes a lime salt, well, salt to you, but we're interested in lime and ice, learning about different types of ice and what makes the difference. So today we're going to be using this pebble ice that I made with ice cubes. I don't have a fancy, let me see if I show you here on the side if you can see what it looks like. See, they're little round balls. Like, if, it would be great to pull in the glass and have a, uh, on the rocks, it'd be a pretty one too. We may try that sometime. But anyway, I did this because I had, again, been reading about different things and that using a consistent size of ice and smaller than a normal, larger ice cube that you know, get out of my refrigerator, 
may provide a better blend. And that's one of the things I was always looking for. And one of the things that frozen margarita machine at Lopez um, does so well, right? It's just always consistent, perfect consistency. So that's what we're gonna do today. So I'm going to use this ice that we've made up earlier and put it in my, my blender first. And I'm going for a cup and a half of this ice. Since we're, I'm just making up one, one frozen margarita, right? So we'll see how this does. Um, and then let me add this Insulito Blanco tequila. It's fighting, fighting a little, there we go. Right over the ice. And I don't mind a drop or two more. There we go. But I, got, I think I got that right on. And then um, we're going to add the Cointreau. You know, Cointreau pretty much is the perfect pairing for a lime margarita. But um, let me get this one ounce on this. And, you know, we've talked a lot about that. I've had someone recommend some other orange liqueurs that we want to try as well. And then I'm going to use the one ounce of fresh lime juice. And yes, I fresh squeezed the orange to get the fresh squeezed orange juice too. I have to be consistent with you. So here we go. We're gonna use this one ounce of fresh lime juice and this quarter ounce. This is gonna be, here, let me do it in this. Quarter ounce of this fresh orange juice. It smells really good. Now the fresh orange juice is to add just a little bit more sweetness to this. And see how that works. You know, orange with the orange liqueur, of course, goes really well. And I'm going to add this quarter ounce of the agave nectar. And I, again, I, I think it was last show, I mentioned I've switched agave nectar when using uh, making frozen drinks to see if that consistency in the nectar maybe helps also with the consistency of that frozen margarita. Okay, so I've got my little lime here ready. I added everything. All right, so we are going to shouldn't take long to mix this up. It's just for one of us. In fact, I may have gotten that glass a little big, big, but here we go. Ready? Now, if I wanted this to be really thick, I would add more ice in. So remember that was one and a half. And so I'm going to add about another half more here because I'm looking at this yeah so this is my half is more like a cup so we're going to say this was two cups of ice is what we're going to say and that's you know one of the reasons sometimes people don't like frozen margaritas is because they think it's diluted and they don't think it's as potent or strong I'm looking for taste and just enjoying it <laughs> It doesn't take any time, of course, with those little ice balls that we used, it didn't take any time at all to mix that up. Now, sometimes when we do these shows, you know, we have multiple margarita recipes and the next one uh, we do for you next time, we will have. But today, since we spent our time talking to our friends at Lopez Mexican Restaurant in Richmond, Texas, we're just going to have the one. So I get to have this one right away with you. Now you'll see it, is, it has consistency of a frozen margarita. It's not slushy like the machine. I'm still gonna work on that to see how we do that without, with, with the blender. But I'm excited to taste this so we'll find out if it is perfect. Because remember, perfect is five margarita glasses. Really, really good is four margarita glasses. Good is three margarita glasses. And two is not so good. One is no, ever again. Okay, ready? That's very good. I like that touch of orange juice in there. I can, I pick it up right away. That's very, it's very, um, I guess I really do pick up this fresh orange juice. I'm not sure it would have worked without fresh orange juice, honestly, that really made a difference. I like, I might've even liked this. Let me try this without salt. Look, that is a really, really good margarita. I'm not gonna tell you it's perfect. I'm still looking for that perfect margarita. I have found some of them. And I mentioned I gave Lopez a five on their frozen margarita. And I think this one is close to 
as good as that one, but that one's better because I think the consistency is better. I like that slushy uh, ness to it. And um, I would say this is very comparable to that in flavor, a little different because of this fresh orange juice, but it's good. It's just not as good as the one I liked at Lower Pass, to be honest with you. But I would make this at home. I would serve this to people and be happy serving this to people. I'm just still working on making it as consistent, you know, that, that slushy consistency that you get out of those really nice margarita machines. And then also, I'm going to say, I, I might have, I only put a quarter ounce of that fresh orange juice in there, but it really just needed that quarter of ounce. So maybe up the rest of the ingredients. And that'd be another way to balance it. But I'm going to tell you, salute. I really like this. This is good. And we're going to enjoy this margarita. We're going to keep looking for more margaritas. We need you to tell us where you think we can find the best margarita. Wherever you are, let us know where that is. And if we don't show up in person, we can certainly connect on camera like this. We have some guests that we're going to have coming up in the future to make margaritas with us. We're looking forward to that. Please like and subscribe below. Tell us what you think. And we look forward to seeing you next time as the hunt continues.